guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Junie Amapola, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I do a lot of fitness and health and food videos and just lifestyle overall. I just love helping people live a better life. So for today's video, I was not planning on doing this, but I just got back from the grocery store. I asked you guys on my Instagram story if you guys wanted a Trader Joe's haul, and of course you guys said yes, and I've never really done one of these besides my vlog channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a dedicated Trader Joe's haul with a bunch of stuff I just got. So I'm going to have a bunch of my favorites, things I'm like, you have to get these, just restock. So I want to kind of go through this a little bit quick because there's first of all a lot and second of all, I have a lot of frozen foods in here that are melting probably as we speak. So I'm kind of trying to rush and get this done. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, find it beneficial and find some goodies for you guys to pick up during COVID or quarantine since I know we're all cooking from home. That's why I'm buying a lot more because I try to avoid going to the store as much as possible. Hopefully you guys find some goodies from this video and let's just get right into it. Okay, in the first bag I have bananas. Because I make the best banana pancakes, I will have the recipe down below. So I get a lot of bananas because I need a lot of bananas for my recipe. The first item that I get are these organic green vegetable for some. The reason why this is so good because it comes pre-season. There's organic broccoli florets in here, peas, French green beans, and zucchini quarters. So this is a super quick thing. I'm the kind of person, I don't really enjoy cooking, but I will. So anything that's quick and healthy, I love. So I got these. I got two lemons. Oh my gosh, organic cherry tomatoes. I love to put these in my sweet potato bowls. I have the recipes on my Instagram story for that. I'll have that also on the screen somewhere. I love to put these in like mozzarella spinach salads, just salads in general. I mean, obviously tomatoes are great for everything. I get balsamic vinegar for, for my Brussels sprouts in my salads. Next up is spaghetti squash. And this is a recipe I learned in quarantine is just doing uh, spaghetti squash and putting like pasta sauce on it. So this is super delicious. Definitely try this out. Look at recipes online. It's super easy to make. For my coffee, I always get this right here, the Trader Joe's Coffee Creamer. This is vanilla flavored. I got one sweet onion, two Honeycrisp apples, and two Granny Smith apples. So that is the first bag. Okay, up next in this bag. Also, they didn't have their regular bags today. They had like handless ones. White mushrooms. These are good for just putting in the oven, sauteing them on the pan, whatever. So many ways you can eat those. I got one zucchini. Y'all, I'm so hungry that like all of this just sounds so good right now. I got this, which is the ricotta and spinach filled ravioli. So good. Y'all have to try this. I decided to try this today. I've never had this before. This is the chicken chow mein low fat. I don't know. It just looked good and it had nine grams of protein and I was like, why not? I'm actually trying to up my protein right now. So I tried to get more things that had protein in them. Next, I got two yellow nectarines. I got the grilled chicken strips. Really, really recommend these. I personally hate marinating chicken. I hate thawing it out. Just, I don't like dealing with chicken. I don't like dealing with raw chicken. I'm super lazy when it comes to chicken. So a great way for me to have protein more is just buy this pre-made chicken and it's already cooked. And I just add like a little bit of barbecue sauce, which I'll show you guys, add that in there. I bought this barbecue sauce right here. This is the TJ's Organic Kansas Style Barbecue Sauce. So I got that, add this together. And it's just a great way to add in protein in my meal because I'm lazy. Up next, I got the Melodians blend. This is garbanzo beans, red and chili lentils with a touch of tomatoes and olive oil. So again, just more vegetables. I really try to eat a lot of vegetables. And so this is again, frozen food is just like the best way, my favorite way personally of doing that. I got another pack of this as I showed you guys earlier. Cauliflower gnocchi. Don't sleep on gnocchi. Gnocchi was something I also discovered during quarantine. Love this. I eat this all the time. You just add some pasta sauce on this and you are good to go. It's so freaking good. Definitely recommend this. Okay, I got four avocados. I make a lot of avocado toast. I also put these in my big sweet potato recipe and I also will put this in like salad sometimes. And so definitely avocados are like a staple. And I'll put these in smoothies sometimes. And then the last thing in that bag is this right here, sparkling mixed berry mineral water. I rave about these all the time because this is such a great substitute for soda and it helps me drink more water because there's flavors, it's sparkly, there's just something about it that I crave. So I got a lot of these, you guys will see, but the first flavor I got is the mixed berry. So that's two bags so far. I'll just show you guys, do another quick little pan really quickly of everything I got. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these away really quickly just because we do have some frozen foods in here and I don't want them to melt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in my freezer. 
tell I really stock up, but I also eat a lot of food. Let me tell you, working from home and always cooking every day, I eat a lot. On to the next two bags. Let's start with this one. First, I got these organic dried mangoes. I love mangoes and I make sure to get them unsulfured and unsweetened. Anytime I buy something packaged, I want it in its most raw form if possible. So I always try to avoid whether they've added sugars or added salt, or any other extra flavoring. I usually like to try to get it as organic and raw as possible. So I got those. Toilet paper, thank God that these are back in stock and we're not freaking out over toilet paper anymore. In supermarkets is desperation. Broccoli florets. These are Brussels sprouts, which I love to season with balsamic vinegar, like I said. These two things are things I've recently discovered. They are microwavable, pre-made like quinoa and rice. This one is so unbelievably good. Like I almost think I'll never buy regular rice again. I'll just always buy these because they take literally three minutes in their pre-season and it's so good. And I just got this one. I've never tried this one before. This is the quinoa. Quinoa is so good for you, so I love this, so I got quinoa. And this is definitely something you guys should check out. Okay, next for smoothies, I just got strawberries and blueberries. Next I got pistachios, again, dry, roasted, and unsalted. Um, just because I was looking up more ways to get protein and this website recommended pistachios, so I'm gonna try these. I got half a dozen of organic free range eggs and these have no antibiotics, no hormones, all organic fed, and I love eggs, so I got half a dozen. And I, I eat a lot of eggs too. Mango chunks, these are something I think I literally eat every single day. I kid you not. So these are definitely something I really, really recommend. I saw this, I thought I thought maybe why not try it. These are the organic lentil vegetable soup. I just thought it looked good. So I was like, again, maybe give it a go. I was feeling adventurous today. I got carrots, which I love to either put in the oven or just dip in hummus, so I got these. Next, I got strawberries because I either put these in my oatmeal or my brown rice cakes, so I love these. Brown rice cakes are something you guys also have to try. I'll show you my favorite one. These right here, if you've been following me for a while, you know about these, but these are the organic whole grain rice cakes. I toast them, put peanut butter, almond butter, strawberries, blueberries, and then I'll drizzle some honey. So, so good. Check these out. Okay, and last in this bag, I got another sparkling lemon water. So there's that. Okay, we are on now to the last bag. And this one, I got the Ezekiel sprouted grain tortillas. I love these. I will put hummus on the bottom and then put a bunch of vegetables like spinach, mushrooms, tomatoes. I'll put some salsa in there. I'll put black beans. So definitely check these out. If you want them to last longer, just put them in the freezer. And then next I got baby spinach. I got asparagus, which I love to drizzle lemons all over them and some salt and pepper. So good. Put it in the oven. I got more eggs. Oh, y'all. Now these are my favorite. If you, if you try anything from this video, try these. Now I'm obsessed with these. I'm probably about to eat one of these tonight because I'm really hungry. I love sweet potatoes, but then you make it gnocchi and it's like game freaking over. Definitely check these out. These are so, so good. Like I said, if you try anything from this video, try these. Next, this is so good as well. It's the asparagus risotto. So, so good. Try that out as well. Again, just another way to get some more protein because these have 15 grams of protein in one of these. I get the Greek non-fat yogurt plain. I'll add blueberries and stevia powder into these, and I love these for breakfast, so check these out as well. Next, I just got some organic blueberries. <laughs> More sparkling water. Green grapes, these are probably my favorite snack to eat while I'm editing. And last but not least, you guys, mozzarella cheese. So I like to do like a mozzarella, cherry tomato, spinach, drizzle some balsamic, that's just a cute, Cute. Well, I guess it could be cute, but it's just a good little snack. So I got that and that is everything. And the total of that, you guys, in California is $137. Yes, I know, a lot of food. But this will last me for a good two, three weeks. But again, keeping in mind, I work from home, I make every single meal at home and I eat a lot. So this will probably last me about two weeks. And again, I will do an overview of, every, of everything. Okay. So hopefully this video was helpful and you found some new things you want to pick up from Trader Joe's. Let me know if you want more of these or even like Trader Joe's recipes. But yeah, I'm always about kind of quick and easy and still healthy. So hopefully you guys will try this out. So if you're new here, subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. If you guys want more just tips and tricks and just seeing my overall day in my life of like what I normally eat, 
Check out my Instagram, that's Janina Mopola. And now it's time for me to eat my sweet potato gnocchi because your girl's hungry. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys.